So you've decided you want to play aircraft carriers. These large ships essentially changed the nature of sea warfare during World War II. In essence, they made battleships obsolete. In World of Warships, carriers have the ability to do the same. Their presence alone can help carry a team to victory both as an offensive and defensive weapon. Your planes have the ability to scout, protect the fleet from the enemy's aircraft, and utterly destroy enemy ships. So what do you have to know about carriers to start your journey? The first carriers are unlocked at Tier 4. By this point, you've learned the fundamentals of ships. Prepare to change your mindset because carriers force you to be a battle commander. The first time you get into a game with carriers, as soon as the round starts, your view will change to a bird's eye view of the battlefield. Get used to this view as it'll be what you primarily look at as you navigate. As the round starts, the very first thing you'll want to do is get your carrier moving. Remember, a stationary carrier, or CV as they're known as, is a sunken CV. Press the M key to bring up your map. This is another view you'll need to get used to, as your time will primarily be spent here managing your ship and planes. The easiest way to keep moving is to set waypoints. Hold shift and left click various points on the map. Once this is done, your ship will autopilot. You're now moving, harder to hit, and have the ability to freely focus on your planes. Carrier's main armaments are their airplanes. Depending on the carrier, you'll have a setup consisting of three types of aircraft, fighters, bombers, and torpedo bombers. Fighters are both important offensively and defensively. They scout the sea, revealing hard-to-find destroyers and more importantly protect the fleet from other planes. When you see enemy planes, there are two ways to attack. You can simply point and click to start a large aerial melee, or conversely, you can hold the ALT button and strafe attack. This lines your planes up to attack in a concentrated line. Tricky to learn, but when mastered, you'll melt planes from the sky. Bombers dive bomb enemy ships and can cause massive damage through fire. You can auto drop on ships, which is easy enough, a simple point and click. Or, you can try and manual drop by holding ALT. This, as with strafing, is trickier to learn, but the damage you can cause is amplified. Lastly, we have torpedo bombers. These planes drop a salvo of torpedoes that rush towards the enemy ship, causing massive damage. As with each type of airplane, you can elect a simple auto drop. The computer calculates lead time, and the planes drop torpedoes that spread out towards your enemy. Or, if you want ultimate control and the ability to absolutely devastate an enemy ship, you can manual drop by holding the ALT key. This may be the most difficult to master, taking into account the ship's speed and heading, but when mastered, one salvo has the ability to sink a battleship and is unescapable. While you're managing your airplane squadrons, be sure to keep an eye on your carrier. Destroyers are an ever-lurking danger. If you need to take manual control of your CV, do so. Press the 1 key, followed by shift, to bring it into a ship mode we're all accustomed to and play as normal. Play your first rounds in co-op mode to get the hang of this challenging form of gameplay. When you feel confident, join a random battle and lead your team to victory with the King of the Seas.